Welcome back, ladies, gentlemen, boys, and girls, and those of you who don't know what the hell you are yet. Hop along, PR here. We're back playing Legend of Heroes, Trails in the Sky. Okay, so... <sighs> the bird's gonna die. I, I just know it. I just know it. I hate when the animals die. Kill a human, by all means, but just, just leave the animals out of it. Anyhow, we have until we get to the main road before shit happens. Just my guess, anyhow. Because, you know, Chloe is supposed to be going one way. Josh wants to sell the other, but... I don't... I've only seen a little bit ahead, but it doesn't seem like Chloe's going to be going, you know, away for good anytime soon. I guess this is a goodbye, yes. Thank you so much for the last few days. No problem, it's been fun. Take care and say hi to Matron Teresa and the kids for us. Don't worry, I will. Hey, you three! Huh? You're from Minori, aren't you? You guys, braces, right? Got big trouble. Let's have big trouble. Ooh. Someone attacked Major Teresa and the kids near Minoria. Say what now? No. Chloe. Keep your cool. This is no time for you fanning on us. I'm sorry. Please, tell us whatever you can. They were apparently assaulted by some strange group on the way back from the festival. The kids are okay, but Major Teresa and that bracer later got knocked out. I mean, Karna? No way. To be highly trained. I could have contacted the guild, but communications are down at the end. You have much choice but to run all the way here. I see. Well, thank you for your help. You can manage it. Would you go on to ruin for us? You gotta hurry to Minoria. Okay, will do. Let's get going. Okay, all right. I'm not saying that it's. Oh. Oh. I'm not saying that it's a terrible thing per se, but. Eh, a little predictable. Oh, you cock. Um, I don't like you. You can hit from all the way back there. But I don't necessarily think it's a bad thing that I saw that coming. I mean, I looked ahead a little bit, but <clears throat> even without it, tell that Chloe was going to be here for at least a chapter. That chapter is certainly not over. Ouch. Ah, uh, fuck. Travis. Okay, that wasn't that bad. It only took me two tries. Ooh, I like that experience. That is a good amount of experience. She learned Comet. Okay, this just... <laughs> this just went straight into Final Fantasy. Just straight into Final Fantasy. Oh yeah. I haven't checked out Joshua's new attack, and I haven't checked out anything to do with Chloe's uh, special abilities. I'd want to wager that they're all just healing, but I have been wrong numerous times in the past. So, anyhow. <sighs> Sorry, my mind's a little shot. I, the reason why I cut away from fights is because I get too focused on it. If I don't focus, I don't do well. If I don't do well, I have to fight over again. And you can see how it becomes a vicious cycle of sorts. Okay. Actually, is there a way that I can status? Chloe. Uh, crafts exemplifier. Dual strike, flying, cloak and dagger. Okay, it looks like they both have one more to learn. Whereas Chloe might have Upwards of four. Ooh. Is everybody okay? There's no one. No one's dead, right? Well, the orphans are crying ever since they got back. Why would anybody pick on them like that? Ah, uh, because the world is full of dicks. Oh, Miss Chloe, everyone. <laughs> it was so scary. Thank goodness you're all safe. Pardon me, but how about the others? How was Mother Matron Teresa? Mother Teresa. Don't worry, they're not hurt. 
They haven't woken up, though, which has me a little worried. If I may, then, I'd like to see them. No doubt about it. Someone used sleeping powder. Sleeping powder? Yes, there's still a faint hit of it in the air. It's probably the kind without side effects. Hey, Clem, can you tell us what happened? I'll tell you. We are walking along the coast with the Bracer Lady, and all these strange guys' masks showed up out of nowhere. The Bracer Lady fought them for a while, but they surrounded her. She fought them to save us and Matron Teresa. That's why they're there. must have been so scary. I took an envelope from the Matron. They really wanted to get it back. Mr. Joshua, I couldn't help her. Don't think that way, Clem. I know Matron Teresa would have been happy to all of you are safe. That's why you mustn't blame yourself. I don't believe this. Who would do such a thing? Whatever it is, must certainly be skilled at hiding his or her presence. Although the bracer wasn't alerted, Major Teresa is unconscious. Chloe, I get a feeling that this is very deliberate. I'd say the criminals were probably targeting the donations Major Teresa had on her. We'll find the money, we'll find the culprit. Yes, you're probably right. You seem a little calmer than earlier. Yes, in order to help the matron and the kids, I must compose myself. Regardless, we must find who did this as soon as possible. She's right, you know. Agate! I heard what's going on at the guild. Looks like you've gotten wrapped up in one hell of a mess. Don't make light of the situation. Karna got hurt too. I know that. So quit your yapping. Karna's no amateur either. It takes some pretty skill to beat her. Wait, give me a quick rundown of what's going on. Okay. Okay. All right. There's something weird going on. Well, here's the thing. You know the Raven gang that was hanging out with their house? They're all gone. Warehouse is empty. Then they must be the one who assaulted Matron Teresa. I'm not sure about that. I really doubt they have what it takes to get the upper hand in Karna. That's true. They talk a big game, but I don't think they could back it up. Yeah, I just give them a single hard look and they shut right up. However, they're suddenly nowhere to be found. Couple that with today's incident and what do you get? Like I said, something's going on here. Even if they're not directly responsible for the fire, I feel like they're involved somehow. Yeah, but ain't the time to be checking that out. Come on, Greenhorns, let's go. What are you talking about? Where are we going? You slow in the head or something? Obviously, we're going to the seaside path where the crime happened. How did it make it through? It didn't matter right now. Got to focus on finding some clues as to where they were. Understood. We'll help. Yay! We're useful! Wow, how'd it get so late? This is no good. How are we supposed to search in the dark? Sig! Hey, what's that sound? Oh, Sig, where have you been? What the hell? That's Sig. He's close. Dry Falcon, companion. Whatever, as long as he's friendly. Scree, 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 understood. Thank you, Sig. Now I've seen everything. So, Missy, what did your friend tell you? The whereabouts of the ruffians who assaulted Teresa, evidently. Seems like he saw the attack. That's a good one. Nice going, Sig. Yeah, that's most impressive. Scree. Wait, no one, damn it. You mean to tell me you actually believe that little bull? We've seen him communicate several times. If you don't believe us, you can, don't have to come along. Come on, guys. All right. Scree. Um, w wait up, you punks. This seemed like he was humming in on something, but... Come on, are we really following this thing? It was your idea of a joke. It's not funny. It's not a joke. The matron and the children are like family to me. Fine, then. I thought you were yanking my chain, but I guess I'll tang along. Why don't you say what you're really thinking? All that aside, we need to get going after Sig. Yes. Down this pathway... Wait, is this the way to the lighthouse? Yeah, this is the way to the lighthouse. Weird. Well, it's nice to have a full party. I can say that. Ooh. I need to save it. Just I thought. The Marine Lighthouse belongs to the city of Ruin. So remember right, there's a man who lives here all alone. That appears to be the place. So I'm almost positive that one attack Matron Teresa and Teresa are hiding in this building. It's a high chance of the perpetrators have taken over the lighthouse. From looks of it, that seems to be the only entrance. I guess all the rest to do is check out for ourselves. Yes. Now hold on a minute, girl. I want to see the truth with my own eyes. What the hell are you talking about? I want to know why someone would do such a horrible thing like that. So please, take me with you. See where you're coming from, but... 
Oh, come on. Don't act all stingy now. The only reason we knew about this place is because of Chloe. And I can guarantee she can handle herself. So at least you don't have to worry about her getting in the way. Fine. Have it your way. Oh, remember that these guys are the ones who put Karna out of commission. Better make sure you don't let your guard down. I'll keep that in mind. Guess it's decided then. All right. Let's hurry out and check the place. Okay. I am... This... Well, yeah, I think this is going to be a short episode. Sorry about that, but I've got things going on that I need to attend to in actual life. So thank you guys for sticking around and watching. And I'll see you in the next episode.